Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how a refrigerator works. It's all based on one simple principle, that if you increase the pressure of a gas, you also increase its temperature. When you reduce the pressure, you also reduce the temperature. Let's take a look at something called the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. It says the pressure times the volume must equal the quantity of gas times a constant times a temperature. In the refrigerator, the volume doesn't change much, the quantity of refrigerant always stays the same, and the ideal gas law constant also stays the same. So we only need to think about pressure and temperature. When the pressure goes up, the temperature goes up. When the pressure goes down, the temperature goes down. The refrigerator increases the pressure, which increases the temperature, but then a cooling grid or fins and a fan reduce the temperature back to room temperature. The refrigerator then reduces the pressure, which makes the temperature drop even further. And this is what makes a refrigerator cold inside. This is the compressor, and it takes the low pressure refrigerant from this side and squeezes it to high pressure on this side. This is now high pressure and hot. But it goes through this cooling grid and becomes high pressure and room temperature. It then goes into the refrigerator and the pressure is reduced inside on this cooling plate which cools the entire refrigerator. The low pressure refrigerant then comes back out of the refrigerator and back down to the compressor to be compressed again. If you look at the back of most new refrigerators you won't see this cooling grid anymore. Instead you'll see a smaller set of cooling fins like this. And then they also have a little fan under there like this to blow the air across them. 